Hi folks, it's Aidan CryptoBurb speaking. Welcome to the brand new documentary series that I decided to call The New Narratives. Every single episode is going to be actually regarding a little bit of a different angle to understanding what the potentially new narrative can be for the cryptocurrency market, right? Myself being a long-term investor, being a trader, I do look uh, to search for those kind of like new narratives, new regimes, new ideas that often come to the crypto market uh, from from nowhere, uh, they, they just appear out of nowhere suddenly, right? Just the way that DeFi came in, just the way that GameFi appeared, you know, and so many other uh, examples like NFTs. And uh, I've recently read a couple of different, very interesting articles, and I came across something that I'm a complete noob about, and 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 I'm talking about the cannabis market. And apparently there is so much substance, there is so much popularity uh, in, in many different countries, you know, putting so much on the legalizing pressures and, uh, and making sure that this market can grow and develop. And to talk about this, today I'm joined by Polish legend, by great one and only uh, representative of the OG school of the Polish rap. I'm talking about one and only Leroy. How is it going? How is it going, bro? Let's bump it, yeah. Hey, I'm a nice big, to meet you. I love it, man. I'm a big fan. I'm a really big fan of, of your works. I mean, I, I listened to, to your beautiful music, you know, when I was growing up. Of course, there was a lot of, lot of my friends, you know, putting the hood on, <laughs> you know, and uh, we were just all, you know, listen, listen to the rap music, you know, other artists, you know, like Paktafonika, Calibre yeah, yeah. 30, Calibre 44. And uh, you're you have always been there, you know. You're yeah, I'm like grand grandpapa, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm doing this from '82, so it's more than 40 years now. So it's crazy, man. More than 40 I figured years. out it the last year when uh, I was at the um, uh, hip hop award party. Okay. And all the people they've been taking these awards, so they've been really young, and. Uh, I was watching them and I realized that I'm 40 years in this business. Yeah, bro. <laughs> and uh, that, that was, uh, I had no idea. I was like, uh, I never thought about this really last yeah. time. And uh, yeah, 40 years is a long time. So I don't feel old actually, <laughs> but, but yeah, it's a long time and a uh, nice journey, man. That still, still is on and I'm still, uh, I'll I will be always rapper. No mm. matter I'm a long time in the cannabis business too. Okay, all my life actually. Okay, but uh, I will be rapper for all my life. So that uh, makes sense. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense, bro. You're such an excellent rap artist. I mean, yo, yeah. I love I love your text. I love your music to it. You know, you always do a great job about that. You know, what inspired also me to kind of like get you on the show on this new documentary series. Uh, about the new narratives is try me trying to understand as a complete new complete beginner trying to understand what the cannabis market is about like so you said that of course you had a lot of experience in the field you know um, yeah. about cannabis teach me master what should <laughs> i know about cabani, uh, cannabis why should my I care? and you know my history starts in uh when i had i don't know three years old three years old three years my old. grandparents uh, culti uh, they cultivate uh, hemp, okay. so I was growing for hemp harvest this from when I was young, because uh, uh, growing hemp was legal in Poland. We've been uh, the second country in the world before the Second War hmm. uh, with uh, that big b b cannabis business. We that was China, Poland, and uh, after this. Uh, Soviet Union, but uh, that's why after the Second War, the Soviet Union Union killed our cannabis business, our, all our cannabis industries. So, hmm. no, uh, I, uh, when I was young in seventies, I was going for this uh, harvesting her for for this harvest, but it changed like in the beginning of eighties, because uh, they changed the law, and um, yeah, it it became more complicated and. Uh, that's how I, uh, you know, start. That's my history. How I start mm. with the cannabis. Then uh, uh, that's my start. That's my background. Then I uh, was uh, when I grow up. Uh, uh, of course, I start smoking <laughs> when, yeah, <of> course, <laughs> when right. I grow up. But uh, my uh, my grandfather been always saying to me like. Uh, 
uh, that I need to remember that it's really the cannabis hemp is really important for the family, for for the future and everything. My back in the in those days, my grand uh, grandfather had no idea how big it is hmm. because he was making all those ropes and stuff, but. Uh, I think that he knew that something big in the m medical usage, but uh, you know we have no researches at those times in uh, Poland, and mm. uh, we only uh, actually we had like because in Poland we have uh, cannabis from a really really long time, like I told you, and uh, it starts uh, because of uh, Roman Empire. Whoa. And uh, the, the Roman Empire bring uh, cannabis to Europe from um, China, you know. Uh, that's where all this stuff starts, because uh, the history of uh, using cannabis by people uh, is, uh, it started like 10,000 years before Christ, BC. What the hell? So that's the history. And uh, it starts in Asia. Uh, they, uh, you know, an ancient Asians, uh, ancient Chinese uh, culture was using it to on many ways. They started as uh, they've been the first that they started uh, um, researches on medical usage, and uh, they wrote a lot of uh, information uh, about medical uh, sites. Uh, they use it for clothes, oils, food. They really show a whole uh, world how you can use the hemp, the mm. cannabis, right? Mm. And uh, from China, it moved to uh, India, of course, because of the sister of the sativa, uh, the indica, and indica was the holy, uh, holy seed, one of the five holy seeds in India at those times. And uh, yeah, it was indica, right? The women. Mm. <laughs> women, right. we like women in, <laughs> in cannabis. So uh, that's how the, from India it moved to Egypt. Egypt made really big. Um, uh, uh, they made a bursa papy papyrus. Mm -hmm. That was all about medical usage of cannabis. It was big uh, step for uh, knowledge of you know, how we can use to uh, to heal ourselves, right. you know, how to use the cannabis. And uh, like I told you, it moved to next, moved to uh, Roman Empire that brings it to Europe and of course to Poland. And back in the days was a really long time, all those uh, S Slavic uh, tribes was uh, at, at the Pol uh, and, uh, at, in the in the place where the Poland right now is, mm. or like our grand 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 grandparents yeah. at those uh, uh, um, in this area, they use it to on many ways, like uh, medical way. Uh, they've been making clothes, uh, food, anything like mm. oils, and uh, it was so many usages at those times. So uh, the history of the cannabis in the uh, whole world is really really long. So. Uh, uh, even the oldest people that they find in the world, they always find it with the cannabis. So they oh, yeah. start uh, looking for this, why is it? it and I think not many people knows that uh, all mammals have the endocannabinoid system and all of us have it. I it, didn't know. It, <laughs> it's, that's the name, endocannab you know, endocannabinoid system because of cannabis, you know? and. Uh, it's um, it's really important uh, system for you because it's take care and about all, all your homeostasia. So uh, the, the the story of uh, banning the cannabis is not really long because in uh, th 1937 uh, in 20th century um, in America the, they made the marijuana tax act and it changed all the game because they. Uh, said that uh, hemp is the same as the cannabis. Mm. That means that the, the, the flowers with 0 0.2 of the THC or maybe 1% of THC, uh, they decide is the same as the cannabis uh, indica that can have gotcha. a lot of THC. So it's changed the game because uh, 
it uh, this uh, tax um, made that many uh, uh, growers did a, you know they closed the businesses because the tax was high and uh, you had always problems so mm. that stops all this uh, revolution you know the, that stops the revolution in cannabis and uh, actually the there was after the second war a little uh, there was a little bit better but in uh, 61 uh, they changed it and they put it to the list of really dangerous really dangerous uh, narcotics so mm. uh, uh, in the 61 uh, the, they banned it actually the cannabis it's like um, prohibition okay. so uh, from 61 we had a pro pro uh, prohibition and uh, United Union d decided and uh, um, WHO gotcha. World Health Organization and um, but in the meantime uh, the rest of the globe you know, you can't stop uh, the, you know, you, you can't say to, uh, uh, to, to, uh, to this wheat that can't grow, you know, oh, yeah. gotcha. they, they, you have no power like this. So whole world starts uh, working uh, in the underground on, um, on, a, uh, on, on some new ideas what we can do with the cannabis. So in Poland, we uh, actually, it changed all in Europe in uh, 92, because in 92, they changed it. So they said that CBD is not the same as the THC. So they uh, again changed it. And uh, from uh, 92, almost all Europe started growing uh, hemp again. In Poland, uh, we figure out in, uh, late 90s that we want to uh, uh, start uh, growing again like back in the days my grandfathers so uh, in my area close to the area that I was growing up we start first uh, harvesting we uh, we start we made a big uh, cannabis maze people have been uh, you know uh, talking about this in the whole Poland was like did you've heard that in somewhere in Poland they have cannabis mm. uh, maize, you know, mm. and probably it's not legal. What is it? And people start asking about this and there many tourists came at those days. So uh, at the beginning of year 2000, 2001, two, uh, the organization that I was called, that I am co co right now cooperating with them, like a free cannabis organization, the biggest okay. in Europe organization, uh, we all start making the big hype about uh, uh, making the knowledge on the street, like educate people what is cannabis. Uh, we start the uh, one million march, cannabis march in uh, okay. Poland that uh, really brings about 30, 40,000 people sometimes in That's the middle lot. of Warsaw. Is, whole Warsaw was stuck, middle of like centrum of Warsaw was Crazy. stuck. You can see the uh, videos. Um, Everything's changed in Poland in the uh, year 2000 because uh, until this year we have the depenalization so uh, you could have a little bit of uh, Mary Jane in your pocket and <laughs> at least they took you to a police uh, station and yeah. they leave you alone. But from year 2000 they change it and uh, you could have even the small pieces of Mary Jane even the, I know the uh, case when even the um, grinder, okay. and you could go for three years to jail. What the hell? And uh, every year from year 2000, 30,000 of young people been going to the jail, mostly mm. for three years. Yeah. That was crazy. So uh, uh, we start educate more. We start talking to the government that it need to be changed, that it's not good. And, um, and really, the politics been talking that they, some of them, they want to change. They change nothing. Mm. So uh, I was tired in 2015. I figured out that I want to go to the election. Okay. I won. And uh, I won because I, everybody was saying that I'm going to lose because I was talking that I'm going to the, gov to the parliament to change the law and make medical cannabis legal because all the police officers have been uh, t 
uh, looking for patients, uh, and the patient been treated like uh, gangsters. That was yeah. really not good. So uh, I figured out that I want to really change it. So I came to uh, elections, and uh, I s my first point was uh, legalization of medical cannabis. I won those elections, and uh, I show my project of my bill to the parliament. And after one year and a half, I won. And uh, from this time, from 2017, we have uh, legal medical cannabis in Poland. That's crazy. It was, of course, one year and a half of hard working and fighting with all yeah. those politics. And But that was the first time in Polish uh, parliament that whole parliament was voting for yes. Only two people been to know, but uh, that was crazy. Never in the history, any bill in parliament yeah. did it and i was independent uh, uh member of parliament that was sick nobody did this before and special and in this time with the cannabis when we had the government that was really uh conservative mm -hmm. really really conservative right. so uh that was really wicked man and uh it changed the game. Right now, from this time, we have uh, cannabis in the pharmacy. Uh, every doctor, any doctor you want, even the dentist can prescribe you the uh, the, the prescription, and uh, you can go to your pharmacy and buy legal. <laughs> and that's cannabis. thanks to you. That's thanks to you. Yeah, and thanks to the parliament that was voting for yes. Yes, <laughs> so, I would argue it's still so thanks to you, man. I mean, you yes, did obviously so, such a such so a good job. It's as a really nice to. Uh, it's funny and a uh, little uh, scary that I, as a rapper, should go to the parliament to uh, change this law because nobody did it before. And it's okay, it's great, it's a big success, but it's really scary that we had so many years, we talked to those politics with those organization and the scientists for so many years and they've been like doing nothing. and. Uh, I'm really happy that we changed it, but it's the beginning of the evolution because uh, right now we're fighting for another things. Right now it's all about uh, growing uh, medical cannabis in Poland or by Polish uh, companies. So we working hard like every day, even if I'm not in the parliament right now and uh, uh, and I uh, work in business and cannabis <laughs> business, of course. So uh, even uh, now we every day we working on. Uh, the legislation and I'm meeting my friends. We have a lot of uh, a bunch of uh, lawyers that they the best in Europe in uh, cannabis. Bro. So, so we still today thinking about how we can uh, change the law to make people more happy and uh, especially patients that they can have uh, not expensive which because right now it's not really uh, cheap because uh, Right now, one gram in a pharmacy costs about 60 zloty. Okay. But, uh, but it's almost the same as on the street right now. Okay. So uh, sometimes it's even better, you know, if you yeah. have. Yeah, the patients got right now the price almost the same as on the street, but it should be more cheap. I, it should I be cheaper. You know, I'm, I'm in this business <laughs> for all my life, and I think that good wheat uh, needs to have a price, but not so big. So. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's how it is. The, this is how how the history is, you know, in Poland, in Europe, in the whole world. So cannabis is with uh, is with us all the time. It's in your body. It's uh, it was in our food. In all times in Poland, we had a food that was made from uh, uh, cannabis seeds, from uh, cannabis flowers. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's a big history. It helped a lot of people, a lot of uh, by a lot of ages. And uh, the history of banning the cannabis is not really long. Remember that I said in 61, they really banned it in the whole world. And uh, right now they uh, throw it away from this uh, list. Mm -hmm. So it's different. Um, okay, leader. so you obviously did great and excellent job as a politician, you know, bringing this, this medical uh, um, yeah. marijuana bill, you know, and there's of course so much work to be done still for popularization and uh, helping people understand why it is important, right? Uh, myself, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still a complete noob, so I'm trying to learn about this new narrative, you know. And uh, so the question I have in my mind, right, I know why it's important from medical reasons, you know, to the people I, you know, I, I, I used to have yeah. a, a cousin who was lethally ill, you know, and the only kind of like a oil that was helping him, you know, ease yeah. his pain 
was the CBD oil, right? Yeah. So my question to you, Lito, is uh, if you're having great experience, why is cannabis important to you? I think it's important to all humankind. Because, uh, like you said, it's helping people uh, in many medical ways. It's helping me, like, as a uh, dietary supplement every day. Uh, I'm uh, 52, maybe I look like, but I don't think Dude, so. I don't feel like, that, you know. Right? So uh, I, I think it's uh, it's because of cannabis too, because <laughs> I'm using it like in uh, keeping you fresh. like every day, and uh, um, it's important. F to make researches, because uh, this uh, plant is with us for many, many centuries, like I told you, like from the beginning of ten, ten humankind. Years, yeah. And it's important right now, because of all those changes in the law, we can right now make researches with the scientists and showing in how many other ways we can use it as a humankind. Remember that, that even the, geographic uh, um, uh, all those um, uh, journeys like uh, Columbus was the same with the uh, with with the with the hemp because uh, uh, there was uh, you had ropes you had even hemp seeds the can even the Columbus bring for the first time the uh, the, the hemp to to United States so it's important to humankind, you know, the, on many ways. We can make food, we can make medicine, we can make great clothes, even much, much better than the cotton clothes. And uh, it's important to all humankind. It's important to not, uh, you can't ban it, the, you know, the... The whole industry. Yeah, it's it's not good for business, but definitely is not good for us, for all mankind, because we need to know more about this, uh, um, uh, 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 about cannabis. We m we need to m make more researches. Like every day when you check in the researches, uh, uh, even in Poland, you are amazed what you can discover about this plant. This is really magical plant, and it's not because I'm like crazy about uh, smoking and stuff. It's not like that. It's not that I'm uh, that I like to use it. Yeah, of course I love it to use it, but it's not because of just smoking. Smoking is just a really, really small part of all this chain gotcha. that can help. It can you can build the houses. You can make so many things, and uh, uh, yeah. It can take like many hours to, for me to gotcha. talk about, but it's really important. This industry needs to unite right now. And uh, when the whole industry will be united and uh, we're going to be working all together, we're going to have new ways to um, come to the people and, um, and um, educate them about this plant. Uh, it's gonna be a huge, really huge, and uh, the that that the history is showing that from many centuries how we using it, and right now is the start of the new, really not the revolution, all evolution of the cannabis that's gonna change the many things all around us. Because you may, you know, one of the the one of the first uh, cars from Ford was the cannabis. It, it used the well, cannabis mean? fuel and uh, all the body parts been made by cannabis. He tried for a few years to ma to have the uh, license to build those cars. They've been more secure. You've been more secure in this car. It was uh, the, the the fuel was better. Everything was better, but they not allowed it. So right now, if we're gonna find out. What kind of plant is this? We're gonna uh, figure out how important this plant is to all humankind, to change the even the things with um, eco, all this organic stuff. Because uh, yeah, if you read about the hemp and the potential that he has, and you're gonna see how much money already is in this business. 
and how this industry is growing year by year and multiplying all those uh, big uh, big numbers you're gonna see that uh, yeah this is the future and need to because it's good about uh, for the money it's good to uh, um, yeah, this is this is a really good moment for cannabis. Uh, I don't want to talk yeah, to yeah. you like many hours and say you sense. how it is really important, believe me. And uh, and uh, right now the new technology is giving us so many ways to uh, to to jump to another era of the cannabis. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. That's a perfect that's a perfect explanation, right? <laughs> yeah. And uh well, I, w- I would say that you you've taken us for the excellent journey, you know, from 10,000, you know, before Christ, you know, and actually towards like the these yeah. present days and how much has changed and it's been having, you know, its ups and downs in terms of, you know, people yeah. ap- appreciating that. And the whole world legalizing now, like and look at the Europe, that. look at the states, Canada, Europe is legalizing now, many countries are legalizing. That's now. Right. So uh uh this is gonna be a huge change and uh this is gonna be a change for the economics of the countries economics of whole world because right now when you're reading the numbers you you can see how big it is makes sense makes sense that's a perfect that's a perfect yeah. place actually in the spot <laughs> to 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 slowly wrap the show yeah and uh, i want to thank you for taking thanks us through this excellent bro. journey uh leader you <laughs> did you did lot, really man. really good job about that yeah um, and for for everybody who's tuned in to our new documentary series about the new narratives yeah. uh well we are going to discuss in the next episode the actual challenges and opportunities that this cannabis industry has and has got over the years uh well just maybe this is a new opportunity for cryptos let's give it a check it is see you next time see you